Basically on how to construct an underground concrete tank. Like we are going to go through the entire process. Number one, it involves geometric design. The first design, the capacity or the amount of water of a tank you require. For example, you have to first know how many people are in a certain structure or in a certain hotel or an apartment and what is the unit of liter each person can consume assuming it is on full capacity then we know how many liters are required for those people then you see is it going to be subsidiary in the national water supply water or it is going to be the main source of water then number four you have to see how are you going to have water in that underground tank? Are we going to be filling it with national water supply or want to reserve rain water to use that? So those are some of the considerations you use in the genetic design. Then number four, you consider what is the shape of the underground tank. And the shape of the underground tank will actually give you the volume you are going to use. And that is what we shall be using for the entire design. So you have all those parameters to help you in the design of that underground tank. After having them, then you do a geometric proper design of our underground tank. For example, on our project, our underground tank is running from there up to there. That's around uh, 50 meters, as you can see. And it's an underground tank. We are going to see what we did in our geometric design. Uh, when we are carrying out our geometric design, we first saw the position of our underground tank. We said that we could use this part, which is the lower part of the hotel, and we start extruding our underground tank. We have provided two of them. One is here, another one is here. We shall see the calculations that we went through to have the shape, to have everything that we are seeing here. It is running 50 meters. Here it is running by 1.2 meters. So that is the water we shall be having. We shall also give the details of the water capacity that is going to hold after casting our concrete. So this is our concrete underground tank on this project. And you can see we did a geometric design and the underground tank is running in this shape. It is a rectangular as you can see it. And now after that we did what we call the structural design. The structural design is designing how uh, reinforcements are going to be organized in between the concrete that we are going to have since it is underground. Remember there is pressure from the ground, there is parking on the top, so you have to do a detailed design so that the, the underground tank which is going to have other activities around it is well protected. So that is step number two when you are carrying out the design of an underground tank. So we called out a, 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 a structure design, we had reinforcements which are predetermined we used one layer, we used the brick layer for protection outside here, as you can see. The brick layer one helps us in uh, stopping water from external environment to come and reach uh, on our tank before casting. Then the reinforcement, we found that the single layer would be enough to carry all the loadings with some distanced columns. So basically that's what we focused on as we designed our underground tank. Number two, after doing that, we had to do what we call setting out. Setting out now is getting what we had in the metric design, the plan for the underground tank, and also the structure design. We put it on ground. We make it a square for the excavations. We clear the land, like you see here. Then we start implementing the entire design on the ground. And we designed that. You can see we have here one underground tank, which was put here. We shall have some walkway here, then we have another underground tank that is going to be put this side. So all this water in this side and water in this side is going to be serving this hotel. And we are going to be collecting all the water from the roof, collected and gathered to one pipe that will come and distribute to these tanks for storage. We shall use this water for many things. From construction and design to construction and project management, we handle every aspect of the construction process.